Hi everybody, it's Galactic Man Larry here again and today we have in front of us this huge chunk of plastic which is the build a figure from the Black Widow Wave, the Crimson Dynamo uh, which I was able to get just by himself for you to realize the size of this guy check here the thing I mean I wasn't expecting him to be that large and I'm glad that he is because it's just cool you know to get such a large figure that there's Ursa Major yeah I thought this was gonna be uh, smaller but no 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 I was very wrong the paint is just this star here with some like extra paint on the borders of the the carvings here on the armor so like it lo looks like if it was glowing he has this visor which is kind of a gradient from bright orange to a bit of a darker orange at the sides is similar to what they did with dark hawk and surely other figures i don't have right now in my hand that is painted red let me lift the camera a little bit and i think that's it. i mean yeah of course some silver in the hands which are sculpted in that reddish brown or maybe terracotta or whatever this color is reddish brown let's call it reddish brown color the silver there is painted otherwise it's all uh, and also on the feet otherwise it's all sculpted in silver plastic or in this reddish brown plastic this is also sculpted in plastic and no painted which i actually enjoy one thing i'm sure i'm not the very first one pointing this out he has this very nice like cracks and so worn well signs of use you know like it's the armor is kind of cracked and all of that but you only see it when you have it in hand so i think again i'm not the first one saying this that this could really benefit for a, from a wash and some dry brushing maybe painting this uh, studs here or whatever they are yeah rivets and even the i mean the armor the you know these bits like with the typical like colossus pattern and all of that yeah i'm sure some a wash will help that pop out more and i'm willing to do that myself uh, not in this video but i think i will do it I don't know if today or tomorrow I have a couple of figures I'm gathering to do a wash session you know I'm not just doing this one but like three four other figures and yeah just look at that face sculpt also you can see the this is the a chunk of plastic in reddish sorry in reddish brown and the face plate is a different plastic piece and of course metallic or like silver kind of plastic that's also paint there or a wash maybe the 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 black or the, in the mouthpiece there there but that's it that's all the paint you get with this guy right. but of course like these green translucent bits on the arms and yeah this is one of the like seven or eight different or six i don't know how many but there's several different crimson dynamos from the ages this is, was not the one i know from before i know that more traditional or more like sleek red one but uh, this one was for me a nice surprise i mean i got to know this version through this figure you know and i just like it the articulation first of all you have these shoulder pieces which you can i mean they lift that far but they will get on the way when they're flexible well they're a bit flexible i mean and you can lift the arms like that and so but then it will of course get on the way uh, for now we'll remove one of these you just pop them out just do it carefully next to the st the studs there well the the pegs and yeah you can see even without the let's remove both if you remove both uh, armor pieces it still looks i mean it's just another look the head first of all the head can look up that far which is very good i mean that combined with the yeah it's good for the flight poses you know he can look down that far and maybe you have noticed already that the neck is also a piece on itself casting that silver plastic or metallic gray or whatever you call it so he has a lot of expression on the head a lot of tilt and movement and all of that i mean for this size of characters you don't get that all the time that kind of 
head movement so it's nice to have the arms can go all the way around when he doesn't have the shoulder pieces you can lift the shoulders over 90 degrees just push them down a bit because he has some rivets here but yeah 90 degrees even a bit more i think I don't, anyway just a good range uh, you can turn the biceps all the way around uh, he has a yeah the, a single jointed elbow that can go slightly under 90 degrees or yeah slightly under 90 because of course of this piece so if you hit the hand remove the, the arm remove that and but that will look ridiculous without this piece it's just like i'll show you here's the, the fist well here and here is the bracelet is is a uh, sculpted in two different plastics and it's like three different pieces you can see there the ring of the green translucent plastic and this is like the terracotta or vermilion kind of color well that's more like vermilion but yeah this like reddish brown color plastic so this this piece then the translucent piece and then this other ring to seal the deal it's a very nice piece well you can actually see here i just heated it and that that came a bit apart i won't totally separate it but yeah so that you can see the inner workings of that piece now the hands can turn all the way around they can go in and out like these both have a horizontal swivel with one open hand and one fist and that's yeah if i'm right there's no extra hands in the wave i think it's just like this that's all what you get and the diaphragm can go backwards that far as i have already shown i think it can go forward that far be careful i that was that didn't sound that good um so it's it's not that much but it's something you know he can tilt to the sides a very nice amount so you can do all kind of yeah posing with the diaphragm uh, the hips can open that far so he has just a little bit um, just like the captain america figure um, but yeah in this case i'll accept it. it's a huge guy in a huge armor you know and now he can kick forward that far just of course i mean almost 90 degrees you have to be careful when i mean of course move the leg close to the joint so that you don't force the peg inside the T joint I mean in this case it was a bit it feels like yeah I have to be a bit careful not just move it wildly now the the knees can go back that far just that far this is uh, these legs are from the mandroid and the iron monger back then so these are from 2012 it says here on the heel course you have the thigh cut can go all the way around and the feet can go back just a little bit because of the sculpt and forward also just a little bit and just that amount of tilt to the sides you can also turn the feet a bit if they are on a peg and on a kind of a ball joint you know ball hinge by the way if you're here please leave a like and subscribe to the channel that will really help me grow this channel I'm becoming more and more invested uh, and I enjoy this so just let me uh, help me growing this project and yeah more content it's always on its way the arms are not hindered opening like uh, sideways but they of course are hindered when turning around and uh, so you can have both configurations shoulder pads I mean this huge shoulder armor on or off it's your decision and next to venom and boba fett from the black series and if i'm right these two are uh, two of his bandmates or you know <laughs> part of his gang anyway that's it for this review i hope you enjoyed it please leave a like and subscribe to the channel and comment like and all of that well i think i said already leave a like so anyway i will see you in the next one take care ciao ciao ciao